Hello and welcome to Strategy Gamers to the GBHL YouTube channel. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie and we're joined today by Dan at the, I always forget this, the Battle of Unnumbered Tears at Sanctuary Gaming. So Dan, how has your tournament gone so far? Um, three losses, one win so far. Three losses, one win. Um, it's an interesting force to play. It struggles a bit against some armies, mainly dwarves. But yeah, it's been good fun so far. So what force is it that you have brought? I'll pan down onto them. Um, so yeah, it's an all hero, yeah, all hero evil force. Yep. Um, led by the Witch King, Felbeast. And Fel Beast. Uh, then we've got Azog, Suladan, Shelob, oh, Gothmog, and just a banner bearer. A banner because we need one for the yeah. So what's the Witch King guys? He's 323. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh Morgul Blade? No, nope, just Felbeast. Beast. Just Fel Beast. How's that, how's that performed for you? Um, he's done alright. He's kind of ended up getting surrounded a lot in combat oh, yeah. and losing the heroic moves off. So he's getting surrounded by dwarves twice in two games oh. and just being killed off. Piercing strikes. Yeah, the dwarves piercing striking. We'll we'll do that. So it's an odd bunch of heroes. What was the uh, was the, was there a theme behind it or is it just? Um, well, to East Grinstead a few months ago, I tried an all hero evil force, yeah. and that really didn't work because that had like trolls in it and not enough might. So I was going to do something better, something different, and I just decided I can't be bothered basically, and just <laughs> couple, paint up a couple of models. So pretty much only painted up Azog, Sheila, and Felbeast, and that was about it. Well, Azog bringing six might, obviously Gothmog counters. Yeah. There's a lot of might in that force, it's yeah, quite scary. 15. It's 15, <laughs> 15 oh. might in total. Plus all the free ones you get. Yes. Bang. That's good. Unfortunately, Shield doesn't have any to bring to the table. No, that's been a bit of a problem with Shield. How's, uh, how's she been performing for you? Um, she's had one game where she rolled six on one dice three turns in a row. Um, wow. That killed a few dwarves. Yeah, kept, kept, kept her alive for a few turns. Um, but apart from that, she's had a few hurls off. But apart from that, she's been a little bit poor, but she's been brought out a lot on her own, I think. Yeah. If you were to do this on again, would you sub her out for someone else, or would you, she stay in there for the fight seven? What I'd probably do, um, at the same points level, is take out this section here. Yes. Yep. And um, just get the fell beast in. Another fell beast, yeah. yeah. Dying. Shadow Lord maybe to protect the wilds or something. To protect like the that. wilds, yeah. Just give that extra punch that I need. And I think that would be a, definitely a good idea. Yeah. How, how has it been with the banner? Because I, I, I imagine in this force, it's more of a hindrance than a help. Yeah, well, in the last game, which was just um, scouts, yeah. he spent the whole game running to the side of the board. I guess he, he's, your, he's your only scout, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so he spent the whole turn going one way, yeah. um, while the army went the other way. But I mean, apart from that, he's just kind of been around. I've yeah. used the banner reroll once, and he needed it once. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, he is just, he's just eight points of just... Just to be there. Just, really. to, just to be just here. Just to fill up the points. Because we need him. Because we need him, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, what do you reckon your final standing in the tournaments will be? Do you reckon top half, bottom half? It probably will be bottom half. Oh. Um, do you want top half of the bottom half? I'd probably want top half of the bottom half. I know tomorrow, first game is Curse, which is basically Seize the Prize. Yeah. Um, We've got a very so fast with force the speed for it. Like, Sheila gets on it, um, yeah. and then puts it to which King it flies it off. And bearing yeah. one on lower tables, I should come up against sort of easier armies that works quite well against. Well, you say that, but well, I've been looking around the armies there here. Is, there, there, there is a, there's there's a definitely a um, Felbeast lurking around that one. Yeah, scary. I'm looking forward to. No, I'm um, not, personally. But I mean, if I get one one win under draw tomorrow, yeah. that probably that would do. It sort of solidify me in the table. Who do you reckon is going to win the event? Do you know any of the guys on the tops? Dave. Yeah, I think so. I played him and he's got a quite David Reed, is it? Yeah, David yeah, Reed. Yeah. Scott. Um, Chris Murphy, maybe. Fair looking enough. strong. Then the Scots are looking pretty strong. I know. They've, 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 they've come down with. Um, no, take no prisoners. Yeah, so they're after change. Unfortunately, Alan is not living up to their standards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, apart from that, I mean, it's. There's, I'd say there's not been a lot of filth been taken. I would. So, really? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as it could have been. No, it could there's, be a lot worse. I mean, there's a quite a few shades. A few, there's a few shades and there's lots of felbies. There's eleven here. I've been yeah, told. I did notice there's been a lot of felbies, but I mean, apart from that, there's not been a lot of really kind of guaranteed wins. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's no like Haradrim reverse with shades behind them. That James kind of Lyle. stuff. <laughs> 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 No, well, no, well, not no, anymore no. for him. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, a, that's a instant karma. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, probably probably one of those two. I mean, I'm literally looking now, and I, I'd say they're probably the most likely in my opinion. Uh, yes. You say you went to East Grinstead. I, I've not, yes. I, I personally haven't seen you at many tournaments, but then I've not been to many myself. Yes. So, is you new to the tournament scene? Uh, well, this is my third now. Um, third. So I went to Stockport this year first. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Jamie. We'll wait, ignore that. Wait, wait to put your foot in it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went, I've been to Stockport, went East Grinstead, and yeah, now here. And I'm planning to get to a couple more at the end of the year. Fantastic. Um, Are you coming to the redesolation? I should be. Good yeah. man. It depends on what the other nine are doing, whether I am sneaking with them. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, I am feeling my face going very red, so uh, I think I'm going to call the interview there. Uh, as ever, guys, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. One three. Oh yes, support your hobby. One three. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And support your hobby again, and happy Swedish Bowie game. That's it. it. We'll go. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs>